Hey guys, welcome to another dual commentary of Clazer alongside once again, and this is going to be an epic matchup. Firebat Hero versus Savior on uh, Tiamat. Wow. Uh, Savior, of course, just hasn't been able to beat Firebat Hero for whatever reason. Firebat Hero has been his absolute nemesis, his bane, even more so than Bisu as of late, in my opinion. And uh, it'll be interesting to see that ma this match basically for something huge. It's not just Pro League. It's not just one set among many. Not to say that Pro League should be underestimated, but uh, but man, for the MSL, and uh, you got to know that Savior really wants this badly, and that Firebat Hero has uh, all sorts of ceremonies prepared should he lose. So uh, I'm excited about this. Also, check out Ryza. He's, I believe, going to do commentary along this uh, as well. And he's a big Firebat Hero fan. They're always hilarious commentaries. Special apologies to him. And really fast, uh, before I let Klaz talk, if you go to SC2GG on the forums, there's a, a competition for a Firebat Hero caption contest for a free t-shirt involving that uh, caption and a picture of Firebat Hero. So uh, check that out. Anyway, go ahead, Klaz. Sorry. Yeah, I think I think uh, any caption Firebat Hero should say Tosser because that's what he is. He's an absolute moron. And um, I really have... Uh, a lot of rage, I think is the right word, towards him. Um, <laughs> I, I, I had a, I had a, I had a hate hate relationship with with Python, or not Python, sorry, with Monty Hall a while back, the map. Um, and I don't think I've hated any living or non-living entity as much as Monty Hall up until I've hated Firebat Hero, and I really am starting to despise him because of his idiotic ceremonies. Um, not only does he look like a retard, he is a retard. So um, hopefully Savior will put him in his place today, although unfortunately with the form he's in, that probably is not going to happen. Um, by the way, just for you guys who are listening in, um, if you hear birds in the background, it's not because I'm actually doing this commentary from a park, but uh, for some reason a flock of them has decided to take residence in my vent just above the room where I'm doing the commentaries. Uh, so they will be contributing uh, their own opinions of the game as we go along, and um, just ignore them because they don't really—they're not really pro StarCraft fans. They're just more amateurish, and they don't really know that much about the game. Anyway, so this is Firebat okay. Hero versus uh, Savior starting up. Uh, Savior obviously playing Zerg at the 11 o'clock position in TO. Firebat Hero at the bottom right-hand corner of the map. Uh, this is an interesting map, uh, and it'll be interesting to see how the game plays out in this. Um, it is a map that I feel probably favors a Terran player. It just allows the Terran player to expand so easily and to defend so easily, and it'll be interesting to see how Zerg, Zerg copes with that. At the same time, the two, uh, the two bases do make it less likely for a Terran player to be able to pull off a surprise, provided a Zerg is smart enough to send that drone out to scout early. Excuse me, scout early enough. And I think that's going to be key. Saber's going to have to scout early, and I think a 12-hatch build with early scout will will give Savior the lead he needs to start off with uh, but it's just a question of whether or not he can pull his execution through together after that and additionally yeah I think it's definitely turn favorite simply because uh, I, we saw Jade on go try to go Mutalisks on this map and I just don't think Mutalisks are even possible just because the mins the, the minerals are as you can see hugging uh, the wall on even on the secondary it looks like Firebat Hero going for some sort of wow sent out a really early scout looks like he's going to go for some sort of proxy build not even exactly proxy it's I'm not sure what this is maybe hidden tech uh, but he's building a barracks kind of at an offset position towards the, uh, the even outside of the protective kind of choke there's also neutral map artifacts to the north but he's basically building it outside uh, I guess it, at the inside 9 o'clock position that is a great animation I kind of I don't have anything against Firebat here I, I actually enjoy his style of play I wish he didn't do the ceremonies obviously uh, but yeah, on the laptop even that's great enthusiastic fans uh, but this, I'm kind of curious what he's up to with this maybe he's just going to try to fluster Savior by uh, having this out of position make, and Savior doesn't spot it that he thinks he's getting proxy something along those lines Savior I think he's just going to have to he's going to be forced I think to go into a hydralist build and it'll be, see, be interesting to see what he can do with that I think this map very much encourages. Uh, I think it's hard on on Terran. Or I'm sorry, on Zerg players early, simply because it's it's hard. That there's not a very defendable third expansion, I would say, uh, just because you get Terran pushing through you. So you really have to put your third hatch kind of at the choke and kind of engage the Terran at that location. But I think once uh, once it kind of shifts from there, there are two easily accessible gases if you just uh, keep an eye on those neutral map artifacts kind of across the map. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. And it looks like a single marine is being produced. And uh, once again, wow, it looks like an Overlord being caught out of position. That is. Uh, I guess that's what Firebat Hero was up to. He was hoping to catch that Overlord out of position. If he can kill that Overlord early, mm, I cannot emphasize how big that would be. But I think uh, I think this is going to work out. As you can see, the Drone Scout alongside that is going to disrupt this here. Uh, so I think that Overlord will be able to escape. Nice maneuver from from Savior there. Second Marine pushing up, and this is going to be really close, actually. Uh, looks like it does manage to just 
barely, just barely escape uh, into that neutral map artifact. But in the meantime, Firebat How Hero has successfully denied Savior Scout. Uh, and honestly, oh, wow, going for a bunker as well. But I don't see this being successful. Drones coming off the line. Uh, and that, I think, yeah, Firebat Hero is going to be able to actually f uh, fight this off fairly easily. But this is definitely an interesting maneuver. Uh, again, there's just not enough there for Firebat Hero to really kind of push that off. But Savior, it looks like, committing a few too many drones. He's already got the, as you can see, he's already got the spire, I'm sorry, the spawning pool up. I don't think he needs to, to invest that much into this attack. He's basically only got two drones left there uh, mining. Wow, Firebat Hero persisting with this. I'm very surprised, but uh, Savior managing to sneak through. I think he's going to be able to catch at least one of those Marines. He, d he has caught one, probably going to get two, and that's uh, I think that's effectively going to end this assault. Uh, and actually, Savior, I would say, is coming out ahead there. He only lost a single drone compared to uh, basically a, a couple Marines there. In the meantime, Firebat Hero had to ca uh, lost two bunkers, essentially, and two Marines. So, uh, yeah, Savior coming out ahead there and, and taking an early lead off the... Uh, but the one advantage for Firebat Hero, though, is there's no scout in his base. Savior is mostly playing in the dark here. Well, I don't think Savior needed a scout in Firebat Hero's base, to be quite honest, because he saw that he saw that early racks outside of uh, Firebat Hero's base, uh, So he, and he saw all the Marines and, and bun bunkers that were produced from it, and, and he obviously would know that Firebat Hero wouldn't have an economy to do much else other than that. Firebat Hero continued to pump out those Marines. He's got a group of about five Marines out. I think Savior did, did a wise thing pulling all those drones out. I think the reason Savior did that was because he knew... Um, uh, Firebat Hero actually managed to get an SCV up, up Savior's ramp and, and, and scouting his base. Savior now getting a, 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 a sunken colony up very early in. Uh, he's, it looks like he's He's playing with a two hatchery build for now. Firebat Hero has got a bunker up uh, at his natural expo as well. Savior now putting the gas down. So it looks like Savior is going for a two hatch build here. He's not going to put the third hatchery down. I think this is a clever move by Savior because Firebat Hero is now putting that command center. So Savior looks like he's going to be getting those mutilists out. And it's just a question of if, he, if he's going to be able to get them out quickly enough to do damage to his opponent's economy before Firebat Hero can get a defense, doing, defense going. I think Savior realizes just how powerful that choke outside the natural expo is. And that's why he was uh, he pulled the extra Jones out because he didn't want to give Firebat Hero a chance to establish any sort of defense there, which is exactly what Firebat Hero was trying to do, he was trying to box Savior into that part of the map. Although that being said, even if you do get, do get boxed in, it's not such a bad situation for non-Zerg players because they can still take the other expansions. The problem obviously for a Zerg player, Firebat Hero pushing the Marine out, getting uh, hit from the sunken and then getting finished off with the Zerglings. The problem for the, no for the Zerg player uh, is that you then lose all the maneuverability that you need at the middle of the map to delay the opponent's push. Savior just having a drone sitting idle there. I hope he's not going to put a second sunken down. Firebat Hero has uh, lifted his barracks over into his main. He's already got his engineering bay up. He's also getting that academy up. Uh, so it's, it's, if Savior does go for Mutalist, he's, he's going to have a, a tough time doing much too much damage to Firebat Hero's economy. Uh, and uh, looks like a July Zerg fan there just from... Uh, Okay, it, it's clearly a Firebat Hero fan in terms of his ceremonies. Savior now putting down the third hatchery down. Uh, interesting enough, in his natural expo, because that might potentially get scouted. Um, it's, it's not really a hidden hatchery, but anyway, uh, he's putting that down. Firebat Hero's got his command center up. So Firebat Hero's going to be in a, in a decent enough position here. Um, he managed to pull Savior's drones off the line enough uh, to slow down Savior's economy. Uh, and even though he lost those marines and bunkers, he, he didn't really suffer too much from that. Firebat Hero putting down his... Uh, second and third racks now. His engineering bay, uh, bay is up, so undoubtedly he'll be researching upgrades in there. Um, it's it's just going to come down to a question to how effective Savior's got. Obviously the two gas mine he's got. He's going for a hard list down here. So it looks like Savior might be going for some sort of a lurker push early on. This might be really clever by Savior because I don't think Firebat Hero will 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 really be ready for this. He he's probably going to anticipate the mutilist from Savior. But the thing is, Firebat Hero I'm sure is going to get a comsat scan off. And if he sees that hard list and if he see, doesn't see a spire, he's going to be in. He might actually be in prime position. So I'm reversing what I said two seconds ago. But Firebat Hero, if he can get the compsat in the right position might be in prime position to defend against this attack from Savior. I'm really curious to see what's going to happen, because if Savior, I think what's going to come down to is, is can he seal that choke around Firebat Hero's base? If he can get some sort of contain deny, first of all, that gas, because that gas is in a nice position to be hit by lurkers, and additionally, if he can just basically box Firebat Hero, keep him to just uh, basically one base and one mineral, uh, and then he'll be in a very strong position to go drop and just kind of contain the game from there. Uh, but uh, I think that's what'll, uh, what the rush will be down to, is, is can he hold out while Firebat Hero does his initial push with the Medic Marines here? We saw in the last game, he just, uh, wow, getting an evolution chamber down, still going to be behind Firebat Hero, and, and this is where I think the problem was before Savior didn't get enough sunken colonies to defend against the initial bunker bust. Looks like he's got it spotted out, putting down a fourth hatchery. And this is kind of the advantage of this map is as long as Firebat Hero doesn't uh, sneak uh, as long as Savior gets the uh, lurkers across and, and kind of contains Firebat Hero on his side of the map, he's going to be able to get that gas up on his side, go straight to Hive Tech and not really need to worry about it. In the meantime uh, and, and just basically switch straight to Ultralisk because he'll have four gas at that point. But uh, yeah, needs to make sure he survives until that point. But doing a good job of hiding his tech uh, up to this point. Firebat Hero actually playing a little bit passively here. I think 
think he is expecting a mu more of a mutilus attack. I think he would have pushed out by now uh, had he been expecting, I think, lurkers in the hydralisks. I'm very, I'm actually surprised by that. Looks like he's actually waiting for maybe a Stimpax or range to, to upgrade alongside. Now he's starting to push out, but I think this is just going to be uh, far too late. He actually might uh, run into some some sunken lurkers at the time. This also actually might be an artifact of that early push he did with the with, with kind of the Marines. It looks like the three, actually four sunken colonies are going to be up and, and prepared to deal with this. Uh, and I think the advantage of, of having those sunken colonies out, first of all, as long as Firebat here doesn't, oh, actually, no, I take it back. Firebat here going to the south. I think he got a comp set at the southern location. So this could be actually devastating for Savior if he has to cancel this hatchery here at the, uh, basically in the bottom left-hand corner. It looks like Firebat here has got spotted that out. He's starting to move to that location. Yeah, he's just going to bust that down. This is absolutely devastating. But it looks like Firebat, or I'm sorry, Savior did manage to almost sneak through uh, and take out a couple of those medics there. So now this is going to be kind of a race. I don't think he's going to have, uh, he is getting the Queen's Nest down. He is switching straight to Hive. Uh, honestly, I think that's kind of a bad maneuver for Savior at this point. I don't think he has enough to defend that Hive in the bottom left-hand corner. Uh, I really don't think he has enough to defend that Hive in the bottom left-hand corner. I don't think he's going to be able to get Lurkers down there in, in time to really defend it. Yeah, I think Savior's actually going to try and defend it with Zerglings alone, which is suicidal because it's not going to work. Uh, and Savior's maybe just now realizing that, and he's now uh, moving his Zerglings away. So now Firebat Hero in through the south uh, with that Medican Reinforce. Uh, Savior, unfortunately, didn't have his Hydralis position in the right place and didn't have his Lurker tech up in time. He's now going straight to Hive. He's going to be playing with a two-gas build uh, to Hive, and I'm not sure how, how good that's going to be for him. Uh, and Firebat Hero getting into a really strong position, and Savior looking slightly impotent because of it, uh, and, and, and deciding to not go with the Mutalist. He needed... He really needed the Mutalist because he would have been able to t to stop those medic that Medican Marine group much quicker. Or he needed to have the Lurkers in, but Savior thought he could hold Firebat Hero off with the Zerglings. He was unable to do that, and essentially losing that hatchery as soon as it popped. And that, that really, really hurt Savior in, in a massive way. So now he's got a couple of Lurkers out. Um, he's defending his base, uh, obviously, with him trying to push out a little bit at the same time. Uh, he looks like he's going to try and take that expansion to the south again with, with another drone. He managed to produce a drone from the larvae that was left over there, uh, and he's hoping, obviously, the Firebat Hero doesn't spot that. And um, it, it, it it is a little bit of Hope Starcraft from Savior. Savior trying to get those Lurkers down towards that south expansion, try and get some defense going there. He's got a, a couple of Zergs just watching Savior's first person view mode. Uh, looks like he's. Uh Mistake by Savior. I think that drone has been spotted by Firebat here. So Firebat here is not going to take that drone now. So Savior is going to have to pull the drone up. But meanwhile, Savior is coming in with the Lurkers and Zerglings. This is an absolutely crucial battle for Savior. He needs to kill as many of those Medican Marines as he can. Savior managed to kill a decent number of those Medican Marines. He's managed to kill about half the Marines there. So that's critical for him. He's managed to get most of his Lurkers down. He's sending mo more forces, more Zerglings down to support that unit. Meanwhile, Firebat here pushing up with another group of Medican Marines. Uh, but unfortunately for Savior, he's lost that third gas. He needs to reestablish the third gas. I think he's going to be able to reestablish th this defense here. Loses one of the Lurkers. Firebat here focusing the second Lurker down, realizing this more important, he takes the lurker down rather than the, than the, the zerglings. Meanwhile, Firebat Hero pushing looks like from the north past Savior's sunken line, uh, and Savior does have a few zerglings. He needs to try and slow this, this group of Firebat Hero's units down before they can get down. Firebat Hero uh, in a brilliant position, and this is an, uh, again this just shows a, a problem for Zerg players. Savior actually managed to get one of the lurkers down, and he's pushing the lurker right at the choke. So he's going to be able to stop Firebat Hero from getting through. He's also brought zerglings up from the south. Brilliant play by Savior. He manages to hold his defense just in time. Firebat Hero, however, almost ready to make the tank push. He's also got uh, a starport and control tower up as well as a science facility. So this looks like, this is looking more and more like curtains for Savior. It looks like we're going to have to see another annoying, hateful ceremony from Firebat Hero, unfortunately. Uh, and now the dropship coming through for Firebat Hero. Savior managed to push Firebat Hero's ground units out. He's not aware of that dropship. He's seen the dropship now with the Overlord. I don't think he's got a spire up even. Forget about Scourges to do anything about it. Uh, so Firebat Hero is going to be able to strike at will. Savior is going to be... Uh, really stuck for where he positions his defenses. Firebat Hero pulling the dropship back uh, and pulling his Medic and Marine group. But, but the thing is, Firebat Hero has taken a significant lead having killed that third hatchery and slowed down Savior's third gas. Savior has got a Spire up as well. He's got the Hive tech. He's got the Defiler mount up. Uh, but it's just a question of whether or not he'll be able to hold off this push from Firebat Hero. I personally think he's going to struggle a little bit. Um, it's just And Firebat Hero now also with a Science Vessel. So really, Savior, I just think he's got no chance now because he can't. He doesn't even have enough units to delay Firebat Hero in the middle of the map, much less do anything else. Uh, and there's uh, there's obviously a medic hidden behind the mineral line at the south base uh, at the 7 o'clock position scouting that um, that hatchery and obviously Savior's defense is in that position. So looking very, very bad for Savior in this game. Yeah, Savior first of all falling behind as far as... Wow, there's the birds. Uh, the, wow. A lot of science vessels coming out and, and as well as a dropship. Firebat Hero can really do a 1-2 attack. He can bring those uh, medic marines to the south uh, for Savior to bring all the forces to deal with those tanks and those medic marines and then immediately turn around and just drop right on the hive. Looks like uh, some hold position lurkers there did get spotted out. Two of them going down but at least getting a couple medic marine uh, conciliatorily uh, there. But in the meantime Firebat Hero doing a really a brilliant job just kind of doing what I had suggested Savior do uh, and putting up the pressure. Now another dropship coming in. We'll see how he decides to play this. There are two scourge alongside if they uh, will see Firebat Hero 
decides to go along. Irradiate's going out, and there's not really a... Looks, wow, getting that Defiler out very rapidly. And yeah, now as you can see, luring those Zerglings out, now dropping uh, behind. But uh, honestly, even if uh, even if there wasn't that drop, those Scourge just sitting kind of imminently uh, alongside. Another... another uh, wow, and this is... The denial of gas is what's really huge here, is the fact that Savior cannot get... He needs additional gas to do this build. Uh, he does manage to take that Science Missile out. Looks like he is going to be able to, to save this hatchery, but uh, just uh, Firebat Hero, I still think that's successful for him, because he's just simply denying Savior gas, denying Savior gas. That's all he has to do at this point to take this game down, is uh, get his own gas up. It looks like uh, he, has, he still hasn't expanded, which actually surprises me, uh, but as soon as Savior... Uh, basically, as long as he keeps Saver from getting his gas, he's going to be in a strong position to take this game down. He's just continued with harassment. Uh, looks like he's going to push in for another attack on the front door. He's got tanks alongside now uh, to deal with this, and we'll see if Savior has enough units on the ground to really deal with this. Uh, I don't even... Th I'm not sure what his psych count. It looks like his level 1 Carapace uh, about even on upgrades, but I just don't think he has enough Zerglings or anything to really deal, really cope here. Yeah, I think the problem for Savior is he just doesn't have enough units on the ground, and, and and more importantly, he doesn't have the defilers to hold those siege tanks off off his sunken line. His, his sunken line, he just managed to get a swarm up, uh, but uh, he needs to get another swarm. He gets another swarm over the siege tanks, so he's going to be able to take those siege tanks down, and this is going to buy Savior some crucial time. Uh, and he's managed to pick off two of the siege tanks, but he just doesn't have enough units. Firebat Hero pushing into the towards the south, and this is going to be the killing blow here because Firebat Hero is now going to take that expansion out in the south. Savior just doesn't have enough units to defend his main as well as defend the expansion in the south. He doesn't have enough scourges to take those science vessels out. Savior has managed to get a few units down. He's managed to get a couple of lurkers and zerglings down there. Uh, Firebat Hero uh, is effectively forcing Savior to divide his forces quite brilliantly here. Uh, and now uh, Savior's got another defiler though, so he's actually going to be able to defend this. Savior wasting a, wasting a swarm there. Wasting a swarm away from his lurkers. That was a bit of a waste. He didn't need to do that. He's now managed to get a swarm over the lurkers. So those lurkers are going to be able to take that siege tank down. Uh, Firebat Hero is going to be able to, to hurt that gas though. He's, he's going to be able to kill the drones there. Savior forced to cast another swarm. Firebat Hero hasn't built up a critical mass of science vessels, cr vessels crucially for Savior. It looks like Firebat Hero is, is switching to a bio build a Medic Marine and science vessels. It is clever from him because Savior doesn't really have a lot of scourges right now. Firebat Hero looks like he's going to take out that middle gas expansion uh, at the N not at the exact 9 o'clock position, uh, but Savior looks like he's fighting back in this game. I think the fact that Firebat Hero didn't get that third gas up early enough is something that's hurt him a little bit, but he's able to produce constant streams of reinforcements and units, and now he's got that expansion up at the uh, 1 o'clock position, and Savior just in a huge amount of trouble. Savior managed to send a group of Zerglings out. He's got that Defiler sitting idly there, unprotected. That's going to get taken out, and, and now he's got nothing to defend this expansion. He's got a couple of Lurkers, but he's got no Defiler. He lost that Defiler. He should have pulled it back, and just careless micro by Savior. Uh, those Medic and Marines now within range. Firebat Hero coming in with another drop. Savior does have a couple of Scourges waiting there, so he's going to be able to take this drop shot out before he can drop any units and hurt Savior's main, so that's crucial for Savior. That's really bought him a little bit of time, but meanwhile, he's going to lose his expansion down yet again. He's going to lose that third gas at the 7 o'clock position. He also lost the gas, the middle gas expansion. He doesn't have any units on the ground. And really, Savior just, unfortunately, he's fought well. He's not played a terrible game, but he just hasn't been able to, to, to get back in this game at all. Firebat here with another irradiate on, on Savior's only def remaining defiler. Uh, and meanwhile, Savior losing that expansion at the 7 o'clock position. And now Savior behind in terms of his hatchery count compared to Firebat Hero's command centers. Play going off by Savior. Good play, catching off a decent number of units. But really, Firebat Hero has played a very professional game here right from the start. And Savior just has hasn't been sharp enough to cope, unfortunately. So Firebat here is going to take this game comfortably, I feel, and uh, Savior Savior is going to be in the losers bracket. Yeah, it's wow. I've actually been really impressed uh, by by essentially Firebat Heroes, kind of his movement rotation now going in for the uh, the irradiate line here. Gonna do the eraser. It looks like some scourges are gonna be able to take one of those science vessels out, but not before the rest of the <laughs> before it wanders into the rest of that drone line. Drones being pulled off, which hurts because that's only one of two bases there. Firebat Hero now very comfortably gonna win this game. Uh, but essentially, yeah, he's he, as you can see, he's just rotating him across that choke, bringing him from the north, bringing him from the south, and there's the GG from Savior, and probably gonna see a a, a, a nice ceremony here from Firebat Hero in just a second. But rotating and just cutting off any sort of reinforcements that Savior could send, just doing a fantastic job all around. Uh, yeah, really professional. I was very impressed by his play there, and Savior just did not stand a chance top the to top the bottom there. So Firebat Hero uh, winning very comfortably there, and it looks like actually Firebat Hero showing a bit of uh, of restraint here, uh, and just kind of doing the the finger wag, and that's it. Anyway, uh, <laughs> maybe we'll cut this out before anything else crazy happens. Uh, anyway, thanks for listening, guys. Uh, also check out Rise's commentary on this because you'll be able to see the full view of the ceremony afterwards. And we'll move on to the winners bracket. Thanks for listening. Yeah, um, there was one thing I wanted to say actually. Um, Savior made the fundamental error of being too greedy with that third gas, and I, 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 it, it just shows how badly he's playing right now because he went for the third gas without having any means to protect it. Um, he really counted on holding Firebat Hero off with a handful of Zerglings holding off that Medic and Marine group, and he wasn't able to do that. But he, he, his lurkers, even when they, his lurkers first of all were late, and when they arrived, they weren't in the right place. Um, and I think, I think. 
you're better off going mutilists almost if you're going to do that because at least the mutilists can can harass and hold that medic and marine group off at bay in the middle of the map uh, and I think Xavier went for that third hatchery too early and that's what cost him the game otherwise I think he he played a decent game of Starcraft um, but I'm, I'm hopeful I'm hopeful I think there are signs there that maybe he can come back in the next game anyway thanks for listening guys <laughs>